Hello, welcome everybody. This might feel a bit strange because I'm not on Facebook Live. I am on uh, Be Live TV, which is absolutely so exciting. And of course, it is time now for our masterclass with the amazing Adair Palmer. And I really, really encourage you to stick around right, uh, right through to the end of it because you will not see this anywhere else. This is something that Adair herself has created using the power of Facebook and chatbots and the Be Live TV. So if you want to know how to increase your brand, get your message out far more than you're probably already doing, then please do stick around. So I'm going to be introducing Adair. And first of all, I want to tell you just to remind you uh, about her and her expertise. It was in the event for our group that I want to refresh your memory. So Adair is actually a hypnotherapist and NLP master practitioner, and that's where I met Adair, and uh, who having uh, so much success attracting clients into her practice using social media, specifically Facebook, other, hypnother other hypnotherapists wanted to know what she was doing because it was whatever it was, it was working. So she showed them. And it wasn't long before the demand for other alternative healers and coaches uh, really increased for Adair to be able to help them in the same way. And what ended up happening was that that work with uh, Facebook, her social media uh, knowledge, uh, the, the message with that grew so far and wide that the demand was that that actually took over from her, her uh, clinical practice uh, after about 18 months. So Adair has been focusing on social media and I think specifically Facebook ever since. And she focuses on helping people help people. I love that phrase, by teaching what she's learned by application, trial and error. And that's, I love that too, that trial and error. It's all testing and refining. So Adair loves to share her knowledge of how to attract clients and grow uh, uh, people's businesses uh, using all of the, of the power of Facebook. Uh, it is an incredible business tool, as I know that we know, but what you're going to learn is how even how even more powerful it is. And it's and is considered by her colleagues as a specialist in Facebook. And I know uh, that Adair works with probably the most prominent uh, go to Facebook person in just about the whole world, Mari Smith. And uh, that's really super duper impressive. So we're so lucky to have her. Uh, Adair has authored a book on the subject that's due to be published in the next few months, which is really exciting. The Facebook code, navigating Facebook to grow your business. And she speaks and runs workshops both online and offline and on, on using Facebook to grow your business. So uh, with that, I will hand over to uh, Adair. I'll be in the comments uh, moderating those. Please ask any questions, make your comments. This may be the very first time you've ever seen Be Live TV. And so it will be a little bit different from a Facebook Live, but Adair will um, uh, work you through that and I'll be there in the comments. So uh, without further ado, I hand over to the wonderful Adair Palmer. Thank you so much, Adair. Thank you, Helen. That was amazing. And I'm going, wow, that's <laughs> hearing <impressive>. that. <laughs> it is like, wow, I do love helping people. And thank you so much for in, well, letting me um, come in and share this information with the uh, creative productivity reps, creative spiritual productivity rebels. Can I just call your bunch the rebels? Because I love yeah. <laughs> the sure. rebels. And I did, I did actually approach you and say, you know, I've got all this information that I would love to share, and I love to help people help people. And when I was, when you said yes, it'd be a great idea, I was absolutely stoked. So thank you so much. I do appreciate being here. And for the next hour, I'm going to take you on a, a ride, <laughs> a journey that um, that will either well, it will, it can be exciting if you let it be. Uh, it can be because I think most of the people here are also coaches and um, practitioners of perhaps alternative healing modalities. I know we've got a few artists as well here, but 
what I'm going to yep. say is that if you're starting to feel overwhelmed and like it's getting a bit too much, just just take a step back and know that uh, for the NLP practitioners here and the coaches here, you will know that when that starts, when you're starting to get real confused and frustrated, you know that you're heading through for a breakthrough and that there is some amazing things ahead. So it will be new information because not a lot of people know this and not a lot of even fewer people apply it. <laughs> and uh, and it will be, there are, so it's a lot of finoogling and you will hear that word a few times tonight when I, because we are connecting three platforms. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. I'm going to pop Helen into the lobby. I will be sharing my screen and I'll bring Helen back, I think, as uh, as needed because I will need her expertise. Well, I've actually commandeered Helen's page and I'll be using her page to schedule a broadcast on and showing you how to set up a broadcast using the chat box once you've scheduled a post, a scheduled live broadcast using Be Live TV. So thanks, Helen. I'm going to pop you out here and I will... Um, leave you to so now Helen's actually in the lobby this program uh, this platform be live TV is pretty damn amazing I'm just going to share with you a few of the little things that you can do with be live TV that you can't do with Facebook native uh, broadcasts and um, Helen can hear me but she can't um, Helen, you've written in the team chat. She says, welcome everyone. Post your comments and questions as we go along. Now that's a team chat, Helen, and everybody can see it except everyone. You and I can see it, but no one else can. So and Helen's going, oh, <laughs> this is what we call LOL, learning out loud. So if you are using, um, the idea is to post your comments. Now, let's see. I've got my phone here and I'm in the group and I'm going to look for the live in the group. And I actually don't, I haven't seen it come up yet, which is really interesting. So I hope we're live streaming to the right place. <laughs> it's like Helen's going. <laughs> no, we learn to laugh at ourselves, but it's just... Um, I had two scheduled and they were both scheduled for the wrong time. So I ended up deleting them. And this this broadcast was not was not actually scheduled. So it could be anywhere. I can hear a baby crying. I won't let that distract me though. Um, let me know if you can see it. Can you, I'll bring you back up, Helen, because you can't see it either. And we've got no one here. All right. Now after that, that's yeah. really... Thing. I, I um, can't see it come up on um, my phone either, Adair. So, yeah, so I'm just know. having a look at the just having a look at the um, group, and it should come up there. It might. I don't know. It might be because the uh, something to do with the app. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. That is really curious. Hmm. Mm. And it's not, it wouldn't be in the events because I didn't schedule it in the events. So we might be just talking to ourselves. Oh. After that beautiful intro. I know. <laughs> I can do it again. That's fine. I know. We're uh, here. I can see it now. I can see it. It's just popped up. Uh, and, and for those who uh, are watching, and of course, they can watch the replay. Everyone can watch the replay, can't they? As, as you can with Facebook Live. Is that right, Adair? You can, the replay will be in the group. Now I'm just having, I'm going to share my screen so you can have a look and you would see it, um, it's just come up into the into the group. So there's a bit of a lag, obviously. Um, okay. And what you can do, if you are watching this, it doesn't seem we have any viewers at the moment, but if you do happen to watch this, there might be a bit of a delay. But if you are and you want to know of anyone else in the group who you think would benefit from seeing this information. So I'll, I'll pop that on solo and then I can show you us in the group. Oh, can you see me? yes. Okay. All right, so that's the screen share and that's us in the group. How, how come I can't see it on my phone then? And I don't know. I'm okay. going to call, I'm calling face bug on that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Might need refreshing or something like that. 
Yes, yes. So it's it's definitely there. It's definitely in the group. But so maybe close the app and go back into the app and see if that works. Yeah, and and also um, everyone, I am learning this uh, as much as you all are, and so uh, I may have some questions for Adira's uh, just at this part of uh, part of it in terms of. So now my question is, how do I moderate the comments then with um, Be Live TV? Yeah, so if you haven't, if you close your app, I'm just closed mine and gone back into it. This is what we call LOL, learning out loud. And I do this quite often. <laughs> learning as we go along, I love it. Learning out loud. And the other the other one I love ah, to do, and I'll just pop back here in a moment. The other one I love to do is hashtag it's together we do. Oh, sugar. Sorry, it's... Uh, <laughs> I, I just had that. <laughs> Turn that down. Was that, on the phone? was that on the phone? Yes, it was. I didn't realise it came on with with um, with uh, sound. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I've um, turned it down. Okay, so okay. we now. I can't. I still can't see it on my phone. But you've got oh. it on yours. Yes. Okay. Cool. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if we don't have anyone here watching the live except for Helen and myself, that's totally okay. Uh, if we have People joining the replay, that is excellent as well because we've got some really special, special stuff happening today. And if you're a small business owner and you are wanting to look for, I'll just pop you out again, Helen. Be good to okay. go. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And if you are a, um, a small business owner, which all of us are here and you are looking to do two th three things, if you're looking to grow your brand awareness, if you're looking to attract clients, and if you are looking to grow your business using Facebook as a business tool, then you're in the right spot. What I've done, I've actually discovered this amazing, I call it a bit of a power tool. So the, the three platforms that we, um, that I'm, Fanoogling together. One is Facebook, one, the other is Be Live TV, and the other is Met, the third one is ManyChat. There are, no, there's only one Facebook, but there are many different uh, platforms that you can use to live stream through. So you can live stream native to Facebook, you can live stream through this platform, Be Live TV, you can live stream through others called Blue Jeans, there's Zoom, there's a whole variety of different things, uh, different programs that you can use just like there are a whole variety of different chatbots that you can use for connecting and communicating with people. I use Be Live TV. I'm a brand partner with Be Live TV, so I'll put that out up front. When I first saw Be Live TV, they're actually having their second birthday in a few weeks' time, so they are very, very new. And, oh, okay, so if you're here, just say, pop in and say hi. Um, that would be cool and let me know who you are have to put your name behind it because we can't actually see uh, Helen's made a comment here and we can't see who's commenting because there was some uh, issues with the the Cambridge Analytica data um, fiasco and uh, as a result of that Facebook had shut down some of the areas that third-party apps could go into and one of them was groups and the other was events and now they actually uh we're they're letting us yeah <laughs> helen says she forgot about adding her name but uh, so so one of them was um so that's they're now letting us live uh, stream into groups but they're taking identifying uh features off of the comments for us in be live tv in the dashboard but you can still see that it's you commenting if you're looking if you're a um participant and you're looking into the group from not from the dashboard of be live tv but into just into the facebook group so that's uh but for my purposes if you make a comment just pop your name behind it so i know uh who's who's commenting um which is really cool. So back to the apps, the Be Live TV app. I'm a brand partner with them. They're two years old. And when I first saw them, I thought this is magnificent because you can bring, as you saw before, you can, I had Helen on the screen. I was sharing the screen. I had uh, another, um, I was showing you the back end of uh, the Be Live TV um, dashboard. And then I, I 
cut across to the group so we can see that we are live broadcasting in the group. You can't do that with Facebook native apps and you, the app, the native broad live streaming into Facebook. You can't do that with, um, you can do it with some of the software, but uh, there's not one piece of software that does all the things that BeLive TV does. And I love it. I absolutely love it because you can do lower thirds. You can do um, like they've got here. You can see my name here. Let me just see if I can show you uh, an a agenda. Let, I'm going to create one on the fly here. A call to action. I'm going to say um, click on the link above. And I'm going to have to sneak over to the here to find out what that link was called. Facebook Live Helen. Hang on, I'm just going to copy that. This is what you call um, more info. This is what you call learning out loud and live. This is live. So here we go. Now this, I love this one because it makes me feel like a bit of a newsreader. <laughs> Even though I've got to go like this because you can't see my face over it. Like so. <laughs> so this is you can this is the call to action one. So there's another one which is an agenda item which you can put in. So all of this is in the back of Be Live TV. And like I said, I am a brand partner with them, and uh, I they have actually given me an opportunity to extend um, to everybody a 30 day free trial because normally for people who don't come in through brand partners, it's a 14 day free trial and eventually we will be having specials they said they'll be able to give us specials like um being able to offer 12 months free and you know for that type of thing so this is all new it's all evolving be live tv if you want to have it get your own 30 day free trial just click on that link above that one that says bit.ly forward slash facebook live helen and you will be able to get your own, there's three things in there. You'll be able to get a 30-day free trial to Be Life TV. You can enter a competition if you want to win um, a free spot on the uh, a spot on the upcoming Facebook Live course, which I'm launching in December. And I'll also have an offer for you to purchase this, uh, pre-purchase Facebook Live if you want to. So this is Be Live TV. You can do logos. You can see, hang on, here. It's always back to front. I've got my new book cover there. And it's uh, it really does give you a lot of functionality that you can have. It makes it feel like you're in a, actually you're actually in a broadcasting studio, which is pretty cool. The other thing that you can do with this, which is the key to what we're talking about tonight, is you can pre-schedule shows. <laughs> so, oh. This is what this is something that we call LOLing, learning out loud, because my computer decided to have a conniption and seize up. Google Chrome just crashed. But the oh. beauty of Be Live TV is that it you don't lose the broadcast. So you can see if we had been on Facebook Live, native to Facebook and the stream was interrupted, we would have lost the broadcast. But you would those people who are patient enough to sit there and watch a blank screen, <laughs> they mm. would have eventually, like, you can come back into the same broadcast stream, which is, I think, one of the great benefits of Be Live TV. So That's let's great. try I again. I'm just All mindful right. that we're, we're halfway through the show and we really haven't even got started. So, <laughs> so what? What we might do is um, I'll, I'll just I'll just talk really fast and we'll see what we can cram into the last half an hour. <laughs> okay. No Thank worries. You. Just, I'll just yeah. pop you out again. Thanks. Okay. Now, so I was waxing lyrical about Be Live TV, and now I want to wax lyrical about Many Chat. Many Chat is a bot program that you can actually. You know, there are several. Again, there's Chat Fuel, there's Many Chat, there's Mobile Monkey. There's a whole heap of different bot programs. I choose to use Many Chat. For those of you who don't know what a bot program is, it is actually a program that you can attach to your business page that sends out multiple. It, it collects subscribers and it sends out multiple messages to uh, to the same 
like to your subscribers. So what it, it works much the same as an email program does. So if you've got an email list, if you're in business, one of the first things that you should be doing is building your email list. Chatbots don't replace emails. What they do is they supplement and they're an, actually an easier way to get more people into the top of your funnel, which is, yes, <laughs> I want to say we had a, had a hitch, but it was all good now. Yes, yeah, so it's that chatbots is a really, really uh, easy way to get people into the top of your marketing and sales funnel. And you use it very similarly to how you would use an email autoresponder or an email program. So you would build your list, you would build your subscriber list. And with chatbots, you would also be looking at ways to get people from your chatbot into your email list because we are on rented land. So even with BeLive, ManyChat, Facebook, we are on rented land. And that's something that I can't stress enough because if, if any one of those went away, then that's, you know, it's sort of like a, a, a three-legged stool. You would actually lose, you know, if any one of those went away, you would, especially if Facebook went away, uh, you would really lose. Um, so just be aware that what we're doing is we are on rented land and the whole goal of this is to get people across your email autoresponder as as fast as possible. So get them into your chatbot. So it's another way to collect leads, but it is a really cool way to collect leads. And I just, it's a, like I said, bit of finoogling, but it's well worth it. If the difference between email and chatbots, emails have an open rate or a, um, a, a open rate of anywhere between, you know, it could be seven to 30%. So usually even the, the guys who are really, really, top notch at email marketing, they're still only getting around 30, 32% open rate. And the click through rate for them is maybe around 12%. People, the average person, like just like myself and other people, you know, that that are sort of haven't been, we well, we haven't been trained in email marketing and we just, you know, we, we just set up the list and we just learn and do it. I have about a 28, 25% to 28% open rate on my email list. And usually the click through rates are about 7%. So if you are looking at the difference, um, and that's because uh, and I do email regularly as well. So with value, the difference between that and a chat bot is my bot is around about between 95 and 100% open rate. And the click-through rate is about between 58 and 65 percent. So the difference in that is just Helen's nodding. Do this hashtag nodding hashtag nodding. <laughs> the difference in this is phenomenal. So the reason, the real, the reason that you want to be getting into chatbots is now one because no one's doing it and people are opening their messenger. They used to now getting messages here and their messenger and they used to just going and having a look what it is. Most people are getting conditioned to that. It's like we used to go into our emails daily and we used to look for, you know, it's, I think now we have email fatigue because so many people are doing this and you get more emails that you've been, you know, I want to look at all of the good emails that I get, but it's just no time to do it. So people are turning towards a, um, a, I guess, easier, quicker way of communicating and connecting. And we as small businesses, and I won't call us marketers because I don't believe we are marketers. So, you know, sort of hands up if you think you're a marketer. I don't think I'm a marketer. I don't think I'm a marketer's backside because I've never actually trained in marketing. But what I have done is I've been successful in doing the things that marketers call marketing, but I just call it community, actually community development. That's what it is for me because that's my background, which is really quite amazing because it's a whole different mind shift that's needed towards actually working in this space. So as a small business, get chatbots connected. That's the first thing that you will need to do. And also get yourself a 30-day free trial for Be Live TV. Now, there is a ManyChat user guide that I have included in this um, in the group, it's in the file section. And the other thing I have done for you today is I've given Helen, I'll see if I can give her another link and maybe she can pop this back into the, um, 
Let's see. I'll just give you the link. And this is it's a document that goes through a several like the steps that we're going to go through tonight. But this I'm going to do this live. And what Helen is going to do is give you the link to the Google Doc that actually has got screenshots. So I've done it as detailed as possibly can, but when you do it live, you obviously there's little nuances and there's little things that I can show you going doing live that you miss in screenshots. So what I would suggest is that you use that document that Helen's going to circulate to you as a companion to this broadcast okay so this is something that um and i might even when we finish this i might even i will definitely no if not might i will i'll download this broadcast and i'll chop out the bits where we're frozen and uh, and i'll include it in the document as a video link inside the document so that you'll be able to have the document and the video together and that's going to help you really take off with what you're doing for your business using facebook be live tv and many chat all right helen's saying yes she has email fatigue and she's hashtag nodding <laughs> that's so cool so cool all right so the first thing we're going to do is 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 i'm going to just in the link in the document that I've, uh, helen's going to send around the link in the, to the Google Doc, the first thing you need to do is you need to have your target audience really clearly defined. And I always suggest that there's a guy called Sean D'Souza who's written a book called The Brain Audit. Now, The Brain Audit is a book that breaks down who your target profile is what their problems are and how you can fit your solution to their problem. And the way he describes it is absolutely amazing. The links are in the document to the book. And if you haven't done this, less than 1% of entrepreneurs have actually done their avatar, their profile, um, or their, their target profile. Now, I know Helen's done hers because I've worked through it with her. <laughs> it was a little while ago now but I know she has done it. And when Helen and I worked with that together, she did it as a, uh, I think I had one, the avatar was called the previous version of myself and it wasn't actually a real person. And I love Sean D'Souza's stuff because he makes it a real person and you have to find a real person, you have to interview them and the, the richness that you get out of going through that process really will help you in your business and it will stand you in good stead. I cannot stress this enough. That's the very first step that you need to take. And Helen's been around long enough that she will know that I'll bang on about this for a long time because if you don't get this right, you'll get no nothing else will fly. So you need to have your target profile nailed. Do yourself a favour and do your business a favour and don't do any more on this until you know who your target profile is, until you've interviewed them. So the, all those details are in the Google links, uh, do, uh, the link to the Google document in the Google document. Yes. So, Okay. Right. So now how do we go about getting a, uh, finagling it together? Now, what I'm going to share with you in the next 20 minutes or so is going to be say this is your piece of string and I'm only holding my hands here because otherwise it would be out here and you wouldn't be able to see how wide I'm holding my arms but this is probably this much this is only the beginning steps of this much like it's it's huge it really is huge the potential of what we can do here and I was uh, I've identified 12 ways that you can use chatbots to grow your business and to attract clients and, and prospects and leads. That's 12 ways and I've got a, a model that I'm going through each uh, every Friday for the next few weeks I'm going through that to explain each, each of the different ways that you can use chatbots to grow your business in a bit more depth. Today I heard that they had a conference in Minneapolis, Minneapolis in the US, um, on the oh, beginning of the week. And what they did was they released another 14 ways 
that you could 14 things that you could do i haven't explored them fully yet but it's exciting times my friends so there's lots and lots of things that we can do to attract clients into our businesses using chatbots they attach they integrate with your business page so you will need to um, grab the guide and it will show you how to integrate it's a many chat user guide and it will show you how to integrate the many chat program into your business page it is very 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 easy now what we're going to do is Keep our fingers crossed that this computer does not have a conniption and I'm going to crank up my phone in case Helen needs to send me a message because um, I'm going to share my screen and I usually work with two screens but because I've got one screen happening here, I won't be able to see if there's any comments that come up here. So you will need to help me out. I'll be fine. Ah, oh, Helen said you can't paste the link. I'll make it into a bitly link. So that's okay. We'll we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Um, that's um, let me see. I'm just wondering if I'm I'll see if I can do that for you. And Let's just give me one moment. I'll post it as me. Do, do, do. All right. So now I've posted it um, and you probably won't on the phone. You might find it a bit hard, but I've pinned the comment. Okay. So the comment is pinned now to the link down here to the underneath the broadcast. So you will be able to grab that. Normally I would make it into a nice little bitly link so it looks a bit prettier, but I haven't. Uh, we just, this is what you call doing stuff on the fly. Okay. Now what I want to do now is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to do a uh, show, show you how to set up a broadcast using BeLive TV. And this is a really important part because what we want to do is I want to schedule a broadcast. You can go live like we did tonight, and uh, but I had two broadcasts scheduled that were uh, th that were a bit um, sort of flopped a bit because I didn't get the times right. But that's okay. We're here now, and I will show you how to schedule a broadcast in Be Live and share my desktop screen in just one moment. Bear with me; it's coming up. I've just got to wait till it loads. We could play some thinking music. <laughs> okay, there we go. So if I pop that on solo, then you'll see the back of, you can see me shuffling around there. Hey, you can see the back end of my dashboard there. And then I can just bring myself in down here whoops down wherever I am in the corner so you can see me talking just like a zoom when you share screen uh, except you don't have all the other people there um, if you have more people if I brought Helen back in as you saw before sharing the screen makes it that much smaller you can have up to four people on the screen or you can share screen and have three people on um, or share two screens and have two people on there's a lot you can do but obviously the more times you do that, the more often you do that, the smaller the screens get. So we want to keep this as big as possible. And you can see Helen down there. Wave, Helen. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. So when I do that, now I'm going to, I'm going to blind myself <laughs> and I'm going to actually, I'm going to have to bring Helen back in in a moment, but I'm going to go to Be Live TV and... I'm going to show you how to schedule. So you just go into, when you go to, let me just try that again. When you go to Be Live TV, it should go, I'm just going to go to Be Live TV because you'll see what it looks like on the front of it. Let's see if this does it. Okay, here we go. Um, and you can see here where it says hi. You can, you can, once you're hooked up for a your free trial, to get in, you would be able to just click on here and go to my profile. I'm sure there's different ways of doing it, but this is the way 
that I do it is I go, go to my profile and then I go up here to where the little hamburger thing is up on the top left and I go click on that and the reason I do that is because I tend to work from this and I click on my broadcasts I tend to work from this view so you can see here this is the broadcast that we're in right now okay this is the one that we are what did I let's see I've got two here that's right because I couldn't figure out they're the two that I deleted okay scrap that the one that we're in right now is live because I didn't schedule it what I want you to do is to schedule a broadcast and we're going to go through how to do that so Helen I'm going to keep an eye out for you let's see um because I'm actually I don't still don't have funny enough I still don't have your um this broadcast coming up on my phone which is really quite interesting isn't that interesting but we know it's there because we saw it in the group now I'll go to create a broadcast up here in the top left now, what I'm going to suggest is that you always choose talk show. If you choose solo, that's fine. You can just go live by yourself. If you choose interview and you've got a guest lined up and your guest doesn't turn up, you cannot go live, okay? If you've got a talk show and your guest doesn't turn up, you can go live. So make sure you that was the, and that's one of the things that you can do uh, if you've go if for solo and for interview you can't share your screens either so there's a lot more functionality with the talk show and of course when you do decide to purchase your be live tv for i think it's 14 or 20 dollars a month depending on what pro which level you get you will um you'll be able to use the talk show host uh, you don't get that if you go if you're just on the free version I think it's either you can do solo or you can do talk uh, interview but you can't do talk show and you can do two shows 20 uh, for 20 minutes each per week so that's one of the drawbacks of doing the the free so it's worth the investment it really is you don't I don't you don't have to pay any more to use my affiliate link and uh, and I will definitely benefit when they get all the back end of that set up all right so now what we want to do is decide where we want to host the broadcast and I want to host the broadcast this time I'm going to schedule the broadcast for Helen and we are because I'm producing it for Helen now this is another thing that I do for people is I do produce broadcasts for them and uh, I am producing it on Helen's page which is says on a so you can you can schedule a broadcast on your own timeline on a page you manage in a group you actually can't do it in an event. So if I click on an event, it will just say that um, this note here saying that accessing events isn't available right now, which is sad. But anyway, they are working on that as brand partners. So I'm actually going to click. Oh, if you want to test and you don't want it to post, you want to do a test broadcast, just click this one and it goes nowhere. All right, so on a page you manage, and one of my pages so I need to select a page when you click on that this box will come up I usually click out of that and then it will access my pages and then the list of pages that I manage will come up so I will type in Helen and uh, which is Helen's page now Helen we need I need to come back and bring you back in talk show I love the idea of having one was that you Helen it was yeah Indeed. okay cool so we want to put some words around here for the uh, broadcast so did you have anything thoughts about what you wanted to do for the broadcast as in um yeah. the, topic? the topic i've got some feedback now. feedback now oh have you um okay so i might just turn that down a little bit how's that I, I, yeah, that's better. Oh, no, I can hear it with me. Oh, no, I think that's better now. Okay. That's, yeah, 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 good. If you get feedback, it's usually from my end. 
So, like, or if I get it, it's usually from your end. It's okay. or if you have a tab open with the um, uh, well, I've just had a complete brain with, fart. Are you are you meaning with the um with the actual the recording happening? If you have a tab open with the audio going, you uh -huh. will get feedback as well. Okay, so no, I haven't. Sure um, your tab now, but you, yeah, that's good to know. So is it has it stopped or is you still yes. getting the feedback? No, no, it's it's all good now. Thank you. Okay. So for your broadcast next week, mm -hmm. you know, we did talk about this. When did you, uh, where, what did you want to say about it? Um, as in the type, like a topic, is that what you're meaning? Like what am I, what am I going to be, yep, talking about? Yeah. I think I'm going to be talking about procrastination. Okay. Yep, it's a, it's a, a big one. Procrastination. Do you do it? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> so what would you like to say about that? We can put in a couple of lines and then you can go back and edit it afterwards okay. if you want to add more. Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'm going to say uh, find, uh, learn how, uh, how nearly all of us have it or why nearly all of us have it. But there's some of us that actually know the secret to overcoming it. There are some of us. To overcoming it. Okay. So now oh, I write tie. Is? No, I write it. <laughs> All right. So yeah, and, and I'm happy with that. If you want to, and then we can um, just you can go back in and edit that from your page. Okay. Um, so I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But what I want to show you, I'm going to drop you out um, again, mm -hmm. and and then put this on the big screen because I want to show how to schedule a post. So okay, lovely. Thank you. Okay, okay, so now, so we've got Helen's, well, I'm, Helen's page, oh, I didn't actually find out where, when, <laughs> that was clever. Let me just bring Helen back in. I put you in my diary, but I can't remember when we scheduled it for, do you remember? Um, I'm just thinking myself. I think it was uh, next. I'm going to do it next Wednesday night, which is the third of October. Third of October, and yep. what time? I'm going to do it for uh, seven thirty p.m. Please. So now yep. let me get this right because I'm my my laptop is in Adelaide time. Ah, so I okay. have to schedule it for 7 p.m. Adelaide on my laptop. Oh, yes, sorry, yes, yes. Yep, and that'll be that 7 was, that, that was where I went wrong before because I was putting Adelaide half an hour ahead. <laughs> ah, okay, matter. okay. I know, it gets oh. tricky, doesn't it? So, so that's 7 p.m., which is 7.30 Eastern time, 7 p.m., yep. Uh, and that's Wednesday, 3rd of October. All right. Uh -huh. So let's, let's schedule that. Just drop you out again. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you, Helen. I just love that you're so patient. And okay. Now, I don't worry about the internal title. I've never worried about that. And it hasn't made any difference to any of the broadcasts. Click here on Create a Scheduled Live Broadcast, and then we will select October the 3rd with be live TV you can own you can schedule uh, 11 minutes to one week out so if I wanted to schedule a show for 8 uh, 30 I wouldn't be able to because it's 8 21 and that's only nine minutes away so I'd be able to schedule a show for 8 32 or 8 33 so as long as 8 33 I think it is so as long as it's more than 11 minutes then I can schedule a show, but uh, any more than a week, I can't. So you can't schedule for a, over a week out. So 
which is not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, just if you have scheduled shows, just to know that. Now, and that was at 7 p.m., That be, which is because my computer is still set for South Australian time, I'm going to schedule, schedule it for 7 o'clock. Now, you can add an image to your broadcast. Um, I won't at this point unless I can find one of Helen. Let me see. So taking license here, Helen. That's a nice one. I think I will. I'll use that one. <laughs> this is this is definitely what you call. This is showing it as we go along. Definitely as we show along. So I'll put that in pictures. I'll call it Helen and save. And then back to here. And then I will go to pictures. Then we need pictures. And then there's Helen. And so what that does, it's actually cool if you're scheduling a broadcast, you don't get this option if you don't schedule broadcast. But when it comes up in your news feed, people see that photo of you. All right, so that's, and it's always good to have something there that represents, you know, sort of especially if you're scheduling and it represents who you are. You can add your branding. Now, we don't have branding for Helen at the moment, but what you can do is you've got you can upload logos you can see i've uploaded a few logos here and i've got the find the best one you can see that pops in at the top right hand corner there's my book there's um the one that i do for with the only and i go on together for our uh, women in business adelaide and a show with no name so you can add that you can also design have designed frames on be live tv which is really awesome so these are fun. I've made these with Canva. You can see my graphic design artistic skills are zilch, but it didn't stop me having fun with them. Hang on, let's just go. And I don't want any of those, so let's do none. How do we turn them off? Whoops. Sorry, Helen. <laughs> uh, I'll show you how to turn it off. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to have it. Um, that was for Autism Awareness Week. Yeah. Now I think we can't turn that off, but that's okay, Helen. You don't have to worry. I'll show you in a moment. And we'll go back to the logo here, and I will turn that one off. Let's go off. How do we do? Turn it off. I don't want to save the brandy. No, we're not saving brandy. Okay. Now, so you can see we've scheduled the broadcast for 7 o'clock, and then we're going to create the broadcast. And I'm still flying blind here. I'll just pop over and see if there's any messages. So anything happening here? Yes. Helen, say remember to add comments and ask questions if you're watching the replay. That would be awesome. See, we've got some other people popping in. Uh, thank you for joining us. And I am going to have to talk really, really fast, aren't I? because we've got five minutes left and still a lot. Helen, what I'm going to say to you is don't panic because here, you can see here, you've got my messy frames here, but this is a beautiful thing that you can do with BeLive TV. You can turn the frame off and, you st oh, dear, you still got that. I'm actually going to start again. All right, we are going to cancel that because I thought that wouldn't come. And so you can see here. Copy and I'll delete that. Delete that broadcast. Create another one. Create a broadcast. Talk show. On a page you manage. So you're getting two. <laughs> two. And create a scheduled broadcast and October the 3rd. And with your permission, we might have to go for about 10 minutes longer. I do hope that's okay. 
But what, what I'll do with this, Helen, is I won't touch the branding because you don't want that. Oh, dear. All right. So now that's scheduled. And you can see that it says you'll be able to start your scheduled broadcast in five days, 11 hours, two minutes. Okay. Okay. So now what we want to do is to go, we'll pop over to Helen's page. Helen's page. Do we do pages, pages, pages? And it should pop up here, all things being equal. Do -do. Probably don't need that anymore. There we go. Helen Bolger Harris plans to go live. And then there's that picture of image of her. You can click on get reminder and it says 3rd of October at 7.30. There we go. How's that? Woo! It works. Yay. So that's scheduling the live. And that one, I think, is just now. Let's delete that one. Delete, delete for page. Here we go. All done. All right. So that is the first part of what we need to do. So that's your be live. Scheduling your post is really, really important. And then what we do is we go over to ManyChat now. So we go over to the chat bot. Uh, let's go refresh that, ManyChat. Talk about your page. What are they doing? Come on. Maybe I'll just get out of there and start again. Many chat. Manychat.com. And let's go to add a page down here. Oh, there we go. Helen's page is there. Now Helen's just got a very new, um, a new bot, so there is no subscribers in here. Uh, but that's okay because what we can do is, you will. I'll show you how to do a broadcast, and there are things that you can do. So what you will do is, this is the bot link, and you will give this to people. You would do, um, there's some stuff that needs to happen before you do the broadcast, but this is this bit here is a discrete bit. You remember before when I said that out of this much, we're only doing this much? So there are some things that you can do that you that will encourage people to subscribe to your bot. One of them is giving this link out. The other is making sure that people are now I am a an editor um, editor on Helen's page so here we go so you won't be able to see the page as a visitor so now when it says send message this this comes up it says get started and that will come up with a standard message so what we can do is you go into your bot you click on automation and you will send you will set up a welcome message. We're not going to do that tonight. I'm happy to come back and do that another night. But what I want to show you is you go to the dashboard and this is the link that you can give people. So you can copy and paste this link and give people and say connect with me on my in my chat bot. And when they do that, if you've got a welcome message set up, which is all of fairly straightforward um, you can uh, and if you understand what I'm about to go through with the broadcast you just click on welcome message and you'd pretty much do the same thing but you get the link from here and you can give to people 
and say, please connect with me through my page and then they will become your subscribers. But for tonight, we're going to do broadcasting. Uh, so you click on broadcasts and here, don't worry about auto posting, right? We're only focusing on broadcasting tonight. And you click on new broadcast. There is many, 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 many different things that you can do with this. This is just one discrete little bit that I'm showing you. So hold that in mind because it's it's quite important. So when you're doing your broadcast, we'll do hi and see these little parenthesis here. You click on that and you can have their name. So you can have hi first name and then you can have you can even have a little emoji so have a wave and then we can do maybe we can do again Helen we might have to work on this a little bit but I'll go back to your page and we will do this the scheduled broadcast part a scheduled broadcast we don't um, you can actually go back and change it so we can go procrastination, learn how nearly all of us have it, but there are some of us who actually know the secret of overcoming it. So you go join Helen and find out how. Um, there's obviously you'll be writing decent copy as well. What I've done, if I can just show you in this, is uh, grab the link because this I've also put in here this has got some um, some screenshots of what to do but you will also find here I've put a bonus here thing, three things to be aware of when you write your copy so here's some really really useful copywriting uh, advice that you can check out to write your own copy right here, okay? So you'll get all this in this little little guide here that I've done for you. So look at that. This copy is not following that formula. I have to say that it's not following that formula. But uh, and I don't know whether Helen would say cheers, but you can put Helen bot, or you can just say cheers, Helen. Uh, some people do say Helen. Always, always. Always um, put to opt out or unsub type stop. So you always put that. Always give people an opportunity to opt out. This is really important. And when you go, so this is the this is how you schedule a broadcast. Now what we want to do is you don't want to. Um, there's some rules around this. So you don't want to sell because if you're selling to people, you're breaking the rules for the uh, for using the chatbot. So this is really, really important stuff. If you do, I usually find that if you are giving value, so if you're advertising that you are doing a, a promoting a broadcast, a live broadcast, which is you might do some selling in there, but you're not absolutely, you're not overtly promoting a thing or something where you want to get salesy so you're just saying hey here's my broadcast join me and you're not selling anything so this is something that Facebook is really really hot on so you would just leave it as a subscription broadcast because you are not doing a promotional broadcast and or a follow-up broadcast but if you can see that there are some really um, some rules around this so a follow-up broadcast, you, if you have um, contact with people, then you can only send those, it says here, you can only send promotional broadcasts um, to those who, so, who were active in your chatbot in the last 24 hours. But the subscription broadcast, you can send at any time to, ed, to all of your subscribers, but you mustn't do that. But, uh, sorry, but you can... Only you can't, it can't contain promotional materials or ads. So now I'm going to subscribe, I think, but now I'm going to show you how to schedule. So you can send now 
or you can schedule for later. You can preview it too if you want and it will tell me that I need to be subscribed if I want to preview. So it should. It should. Or oh, maybe it's just subscribing. Helen, you need to subscribe to your bot. There we go. So that's what it looks like. No, it's not what it looks like. Okay. Why is it not previewing? Okay. I'm going to schedule it. For some reason, normally what, what it will ask is for me to um, to subscribe to the list to be able to then receive the preview. So that's really interesting. Let's see who's in the audience is me. So I don't know. Oh, that's very interesting. All right, so let's go back to broadcast and we'll go back to the content that I did I need, there we go. I need to opt in to be able to preview the content. There we go. So just sent that to Messenger and then it should pop up. There we go. So this is what it looks like. It would just pop up there in my inbox. Beautiful. All right. So now I'll go back to the broadcast. And here we want to... Go back to where we were because this is automatically saved. And what I want to do then is to add a button. Now, the button, this is really important because remember before we scheduled the post? So I want to add the button. I want to put watch live or join show or whatever you want to put. And then we come back here and we go to my broadcast. So we go back to the Be Live. And then we go, which one was it? Uh, <laughs> this is low. This is learning out loud. All right, that's the one it was. Was that the one? Yeah, that was the one. Okay. You know what I can do? I can go back to Helen's page here because the other one I deleted. So I can actually click on the timestamp here. And I can grab the link from up here so I know it's the right one. Here we go, I'll do that. There's many ways to skim this cat. So let's go back to the watch live. And now here you've got a series of options. We want to open the website. We don't want to send a message. We just want to open the website and see there where it's got website address. We just enter, pop that in. Always use tags where it says additional actions. You must always add a tag because when you get to hundreds of subscribers, you're not going to know who's been interested in what. So maybe we want for Helen to have procrastination. I don't think that's spelled right. Procrastination. <laughs> I'm tired. If it's a procrastination, I think it might be. All right. So then we click done. And I'll do that. Let's see if it tag. Okay, so I didn't. Okay, add new tag. There we go. Tag created. So now, when P, uh, when Helen uses that tag, if she ever does any more um, broadcasts or any more live broadcasts on procrastination, she can add that tag. She will type in, start typing in procrastination and that tag will come up. And so then she'll be able to know people who actually click on that are people who are interested in that topic, which is really, really great because it's a great way of source, uh, sorting and segmenting your subscriber list when you get, uh, get to a point where you've got hundreds there. You're going to want to know who's interested in what. And if you've got a a special course coming up that's dealing with procrastination and you've got 300 people that have clicked on that tag that have linked to that tag because they've clicked on things that have been relevant. You can add more tags, by the way. You can add different tags as well. But uh, for tonight, we'll just put one. But then you'll know that those are the people that you want to target first in when you are building up for, for, for a sale or for for something special to get them engaged to obviously to to make some uh, some sales or offer them an opportunity that they won't want to refuse so you watch live and that actually then once you've done that you click done 
and then when I, I always add another button and I put catch replay and I do the same thing open website put the same link in because that means of oh, the other thing we need to do here is we need to say um, so what was it 7 30 p.m. Uh, Wednesday third October and now so back to catch replay you can see we put that up here if you want to as well you can put some little smiley faces in if you want it's kind of <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool like that and okay catch replay and again you would use the tag so i'm going to use the same tag or you can put procrastination replay if you know so you if you want to segment right out to where people have watched the show live or whether they've clicked on uh, click to watch the show live or whether they've clicked to watch the replay you can do that i do that with friday facebook fix because i know then i can see how many people come back and watch the replay if you're doing regular episodic shows i would just suggest that you do that there are a lot of other things that you can do here but this is what i wanted to share with you tonight this is the basic thing the basic stuff that you can do which is really really exciting and then you click on go next and we want to schedule it for later so what we want to do is we want to schedule it for October the 3rd and we want to schedule it for now for me 7 p.m. so it will be 6 now the reason I'm doing this is because again we're in different time zones and so we're in 6 um, 6.55 I reckon I oh, hang on I go this way Whoops. <laughs> Come on. You know what they say? The hurry do you go? What am I doing wrong? Help me out here. Six. Come on. So five to seven, which will be 25 past seven in uh, Eastern time. Five. Okay, six fifty-five. So five to five to seven. I'll apply that, and then you can see that there's um, scheduled for later, or you can send them now if you want. I did that this morning when someone went live, and I went, "Oh, I was supposed to send out the link," and then I went boom, 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 and it was about thirty seconds after she went live, and the link was sent out while she was live. But that was like that's skating pretty close to the line. That is. And then you schedule the message. All right. Now, Helen, if you want to go back in and if you want to change it, which you probably will want to do, you can, it's there. You can go back, you go to broadcasts, and then you can see where it says scheduled. You can click on that, you can edit it, and then you'll have to reschedule it. So that is, let's see, what else? Oh my God. I think that's probably enough for one night. I do like to share a lot of information, and that was a lot of information, and I've paired it right back. So wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Head? How's your head? There's like, okay, I have to keep biting my tongue because there's so, so much to this, and I thought, no, just, just keep it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Adir. That that really was amazing. I can hear the feedback again. I don't know oh. if that's, yeah. No. I, I mean, I can live with it. That's fine. I can hear myself twice. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, better, better you than me because I find it very, very distracting. So. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, you go. One more call to action. I will suggest that if people want to, have more information you are welcome to click on the link above that says bitly bit.ly facebook live helen which is the link up here now what i've done is i've done a different thing i've connected it to my chatbot in a different way 
So it's actually in the growth uh, growth tool keywords, which is, like I said, out of that much, it's we've done a tiny bit. Here's another thing that you can do to increase the connection and engagement with people in groups. So and if, if you're watching the replay, please click on the link and then you'll be able to register to win a spot on Facebook Live, which is the full course. You can purchase mm. the course for $97 if you wish. Uh, if you do purchase the course before tomorrow night, you will get full free a full 12 months for uh, access to Code Breakers for free, which is $440 worth. And then you also get uh, the opportunity to get your 30-day free trial for be live TV, so you can choose any one of those or all of them if you want. That's that's, Sorry, that's I wanted to say that earlier. Yeah, that's okay. I wanted to uh, clarify with you then. Uh, so there is your your course that there's the competition that there is a free spot that's um, available, which is so generous of you. So thank you so much for for doing right. that. Really, really too. Two free spots. So I'm drawing Mel on the 23rd of November. I was actually going to draw for a free spot for tonight, but I think because we haven't got any live viewers, we will have some replay viewers. But what I can do, I'm happy to come back in a week or so, maybe um, after we do the if I produce the show for you next Wednesday. Ah. Yeah, um, if we can pop back here, and if people want to have a have a chance to have a look at the show, then I can extend it to them um, and uh, extend that offer because you know we can maybe have a draw if, if people. Mm. I'm not even think about that. I'm just making stuff up. So <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. But uh, can you just tell us um, just briefly? And I know we've gone over time, but I'm okay with that. We've had we've had some glitches there in the start, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, how long is your course for? Um, and what is the sort of is it is it this and and I'm assuming a lot more that yes. you'll be covering in your course? Yes, so it is. This is the basis of it. The basis of it is actually combining Be Live TV with the Many Chat. So that's that's the mm -hmm. basis of it. It will go more also into uh, chatbots. I, I haven't decided yet whether I pull the chatbots out and make it a separate course because they're into into wine, and you know, being a code breaker, that there are so many different <laughs> things that are part of other things. So it's it's mm -hmm. not like it's you can fully extract it out and make it a separate or discrete thing. So it's um, uh, the course, uh, it's actually what we're doing is I'm building it live, which means mm -hmm. because the traditionally people wait or they, they'll do their course and they'll have all the I's crossed and the T's dotted and stuff like that <laughs> and then they'll launch the course. Mm -hmm. The way that we do it, and this is, been the way that ever since I started with the the very first course, which I think you were on, which was called back then the seven four seven exactly yes seven four seven takeoff accelerate your business page or something. Now it's called accelerate your business page. That course was built as I went along and refined and uh, and I actually didn't realise that. That people that was it's a new way of doing things. You build the course in real in real life, and mm. that based on the feedback that you get from people and the questions that are asked depends on the next steps that you take, mm -hmm. which was mm -hmm. really fantastic. So you get a solid course of things that people really want to know and that are going to be applicable to them. And so I'm taking the same approach <laughs> with this, and it's mm -hmm. actually it is it is about building it and then the questions that people ask will determine the different ways that it will go. So I would see that it would be at least a month of, mm -hmm. you know, sort of regular live broadcast live. When I go live, when the when the course closes, which will be on the end of November, uh, it's $97 for lifetime access. But when it closes, it will be actually $497. Oh, so, wow. so the pre-sales is mm -hmm. ninety-seven, and then it's going to go up to four ninety-seven. So, and that's, the current code breakers have access to that as part of being code breakers, but future code breakers will 
pay for yep. it. So, yeah. Now, I'm a member of that, and, and just so that everyone uh, can understand what you mean when you say code breakers, that's your mm -hmm. membership uh, program. Uh, yes. And did you did you want to say anything uh, about that at all, or? Well, only the, that's that's thirty seven dollars a month, or four hundred and forty four dollars for a year. But if you want to purchase the Facebook Live program for ninety seven dollars, you will get that for uh, free, which is cool. And in that's the Code Breakers, amazing. you get uh, well, you get a great bunch of people. I do a live webinar every Monday night, mm -hmm. and you have uh, you can ask like, questions in the group, group support, great net friending in the group, and also access to My Time TV for your own TV programs using this formula, uh, which is and also a collaboration, a collaborative approach, which means that. We share each other's stuff and we help each other to get um, get audiences for each other. So it's there's no competition. There's absolutely no competition mm. in my world. We all we're even other mm. people who do the same thing as me. I don't think there's any competition. Like you said, I'm working with Mari Smith. She's the queen of Facebook, and uh, it's just it, there's there's plenty to go around. Like there's so much. And you also have a free group because if anyone is interested in, in, and I'm assuming you don't go to this level of detail, but uh, would like to actually connect with you yes. in, in, in your free group, what is that called? That's called Social Media with Adair. Let me just pop that down. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, Media with Adair. And that one is uh, I'm live in there once a week. I have Super Saturday in there and we go over a few bits and pieces. That's usually for 15 or 20 minutes a week that I'm live in there and you can ask questions about things to do with social media for your business. And that's a really good group as well. But uh, it's not quite as active as some of the other groups and uh, but uh, it's quite a big group, so that's you, mm -hmm. that's a free group, and there's lots of resources in the files there as well. So, thanks for mentioning uh, that. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. I know. <laughs> I know how much value you give, Adair. And so you've been talking about. So there's the free uh, free group, uh, social media with Adair. There is the paid group, which is code mm -hmm. uh, Facebook code breakers. Am I yes. right? Yeah. I, Yes. known colloquially as code breakers and code you breakers. are uh, about to uh, start your or launch your your uh, group program which is um, the Facebook live and it's the group program that you've kindly offered uh, to hold the competition for uh, two places uh, to go into that course for uh, for free which is absolutely wonderful so we'll work out behind the scenes, so to speak, how we'll actually uh, allocate those or, or set it up, sorry, so that there can be the um, the draw. But uh, thank yeah. you so much uh, for all you've given us tonight, Adair. Uh, I really appreciate your patience because, as I said, we did have a couple of glitches. But, you know, as you said, learning out loud, that's life. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, it is. You know, if we can... State. I mean, certainly uh, uh, was able to bring it back and um, really interested in the whole concept of the live TV and the many chats. So I'm just ecstatic that I'm going to be having my own TV show on my business page next week. So uh, that is awesome. absolutely so exciting and that's 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 going to be helping me to get really going with that so so uh if people have got other questions for you you're happy for them to contact you is that uh right Adair? how should they do yeah, that for sure and i think the easiest way is just to click on the facebook live <laughs> and ah. with helen the link up there and that will take you straight into my chat box and then you can send me a ah. message from there, or you can. <laughs> that would be the easiest way to to contact me, or you can contact me through Messenger on my personal profile. That's fine as well, and or um, yeah, tag me in the group. I'm more than happy to answer any questions, or you know, sort of uh, if you want to know any more. If you do want the 
uh, the file. The it, it wasn't. It's not exactly the one that we went through. But if you want the file, which gives you the the still shots, the screenshots of uh, what actions to take. It's not as detailed, but it will give you the broad idea that is in the links, the comments, the pinned post. Have a look at that. It's a Google Doc. You're welcome to um, check that out as well. So, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You've actually provided two really high quality resource documents, uh, being yes. the many chat one and then and then this one, uh, which is the overview, uh, as you mm -hmm. said, of, of what you've done uh, or presented to us tonight. So thank you so much. Really, really generous of you. So appreciate your time and your energy. Uh, you're such a generous person. Really, really loved having you on and this is as I said uh, earlier anyway is my first be live that I've actually been on rather than just watch so it's been really exciting and I've learned thank heaps so thank you so much for your time as I said Adair mm -hmm. and look forward to seeing you again now I don't no. know how to stop all of this so I'm gonna let you do that <laughs> Bye, <everybody. laughs> <laughs> this is again learning out loud because I'm I'm I'm, I'm driving the bus. I have control. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I better be careful. <laughs> right, so I'll stop the broadcast. Thank you, Helen, and thank you everybody who's um, popped in. And if you're coming back for the replay, thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure to be here. And I just love this stuff. I could talk all night about it, but I won't. I'll go, have me to come back, and I'll come back and give you some more yes, information. <laughs> that'd be great. Thank you. Oh. No worries. Bye, -bye. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.